guys, Veronica here. So welcome to this week's video. Uh, I just got back from Cabo San Lucas. I was in Mexico and of course I'm on the beach, I'm at the pool, I'm outside in the scorching sun every single day and then in the salt water we went uh, swimming with the whale shark so all day my hair was in the salt water and that will kill your color. Uh, especially if you're blonde, um, it's going to make your hair so brassy and so dry um that's just that's just a fact i'll show you the color all the way around so you can see you can see the yellow brassiness that golden undertone that's all exposed right now i normally like my hair to be quite um beige and ashy okay so definitely too gold at this point in time, it is due for a toner. This is a time that you go into the salon and get it refreshed. But what I am going to do is I'm going to show you uh, what it's like to use purple shampoo um, to tone it out. Purple shampoo does not replace uh, a toner. It is more to maintain your blonde over time to keep the brassiness on a low scale but I have a lot of clients that they want to just tone their hair with purple shampoo and it isn't going to replace a full toner but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you with my hair this brassy what a purple shampoo will do and I'll kind of do it in sort of a mask type of way so that you can see what it looks like. All right, so I have my hair wet down now, just slightly damp. You don't want your hair super wet because that's gonna water down the purple shampoo and you want that to be very strong. Um, you also don't want your hair super dry because the water is gonna help open the cuticle and it's gonna help you spread uh, the purple shampoo really easily. Okay, so another option is you can use a spray bottle to spray your hair down as well, okay? So now with my hair wet, you can also see a little bit more of that goldie coming through. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the shampoo, purple shampoo in and cover all the blonde from root to end. We are going to be using our Neven purple shampoo that is under development right now, so it's not ready yet, but it is a super, super pigmented purple shampoo, uh, which is awesome for toning out brass and maintaining a really nice, sandy, ashy, beigey blonde. Okay, so Stay tuned for this guy, it's going to be amazing. What we're gonna do is we're gonna just start applying in sections. I want the most toning to happen on the top because obviously that's the what's most visible. So I'm gonna start there. Check out the purple shampoo, how purpley it is. And I'm going to be applying it into the hair. Okay, we're gonna have a little bit of water in your hands so that you can work this into the hair just slightly. So you can see that it's starting to lather a bit, but we don't want it as a full, full soapy lather. We want this to stay quite pigmented, okay? And we're just gonna apply the purple shampoo into sections until the entire head is covered. Again, just putting some water into my hands here and working it through. You can see that my hands are even stained purple because that's how much purple pigment is in there. Um, so that's literally what's happening to my hair is that purple pigment is going in, depositing into my hair and neutralizing out the yellow. All right, now we have the purple shampoo all applied in the hair very evenly. You wanna make sure to double check that everywhere is super saturated. From here, we're gonna let it sit for, I'll do 15 minutes to really let you see what it's like even after 15 minutes. And then I'm gonna jump into the shower. I'm gonna lather it all together. Okay, now that's when we want it to get very, very, very soapy. Um, and I'll show you what it looks like once we're done. Here's my hair all lathered up. Okay, you can see the color's even starting to look really nice through there. 
All right, so this is a purple shampoo all washed out now. You can see how it's quite uh, light and ashy in there. I'm gonna blow dry it for you so you guys can see it dry. All right, here's the purple shampoo all washed out and my hair styled. So you can see it's done pretty good. You know, my lighter pieces got toned out pretty well. Um, the problem is, is that anybody who color treats their hair or lightens their hair or does anything with their hair, um, their hair is not evenly porous throughout the whole strand. So that means the porosity is how quickly your hair absorbs and loses moisture, color, all those different things. So if you can look at my hair strand, where my hair was a bit more porous, it did actually pick up the purple shampoo you know, decently well, but you can see in here, you can still see gold a little bit more in my spots that were less porous. Um, so purple shampoo all in all is a good quick fix. Like I'm not gonna have a chance to tone my hair probably for another uh, two days. So this was really good, kind of bridge the gap. But no matter what, if you have blonde hair, when you need a toner, you need a toner. Uh, purple shampoo is not gonna be enough. It's there for maintenance. Uh, but not for actual toning, okay? So the difference would be like when I go and actually tone my hair, it would have a little bit more weight behind it that I could tone this a little bit differently, that a little bit differently, um, and overall it would come out all evenly, okay? So stay tuned. We're going to have our purple shampoo launching very, very quickly. Um, look at my dog running around over there. It's Charlie. Charlie, say hi. So that is this week's video, guys. If you have a question about toning your hair or purple shampoo or anything, leave a comment below. I will get right back to you. Uh, like, subscribe. We put out videos every Friday. And we will see you guys next week. Bye.